I don't even know if you know this, but I'm excited. Is you got good reason to be? I was like, we got Dago Legend coming, and you know, there's people from the East Coast that are like Dago. I'm like Dago, right. Dago. That's how you say San Diego. I was right. like, every city's got their little slang on how to say their city, right? So Dago Legend. But here's Mitchell about Slate. how you spell it. Oh, how, how do you spell it? I spell it like I'm sorry. I spell it like the gang spell it. How's that? A G O, not Y. Oh, okay. G-A-G-O. The youngsters spell it D A Y. Why? Why the change? Because I don't know. I think maybe they like the word gay. Possibly. That is, you know what? I didn't even think that never crossed my mind. But I now that you said it, <laughs> you know, I mean, the the young generation of hip hop. They spell it Y. Right, but they've been. They are a little more. But no, now I was just playing when I said that, right? I was just playing. Now don't get me. You don't have it's me. all jokes. It's all jokes. It's all jokes. No, no. I, that, that's what I use to them all the time when they try to change the spelling. Dago is D A G O. Right. It's not with a Y. It's not with a Y. But, oh. but the youngsters, they're heavy with the Y. Mitchie Mitchie Slick the, is going to teach us today, okay? You've been uh, in the game for a minute. When, your first track, like, when was your first time when you just started laying down some music and stuff? The first time I ever made some music, man, was. Um, is this is, are we on now? Yeah, we're, we're on recording right now. We getting all these all the knowledge Check from it out. Slick. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, all of this. First song I did, I got great story. So you can't ask me no question, bro, unless you want a real dope ass story. You probably can make a movie out of it. I, I want to make a movie listen. right now. Let's yep. go. Okay, so anyway, um, the homies had a label. Shout out to my homie LT, Big LT, Big Scarface. They had a label called Bottom Up Records. They had a studio over there on University, and all my homies was over there recording. Uh, shout out to the homie Damu too. He was a main artist. Damu was. Damu. And um, I, 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 everybody, you know, coming up, everybody had a, pa- a pad, yeah. but who was had the nuts to really speak? You know what I'm saying? Six, seven, eighth grade. Everybody got a little rapper too. You had one, right, Tati? <laughs> See, look at her. Yeah. yeah, she had that one. Yeah. That one when she get drunk, she said. <laughs> yeah, it's well, drunk or high, you know, right. one of the two. Right. I got you. Anyways, I had mines, but the homies wouldn't let me rap really over there. They was, you know, on their thing or whatever. How old you at this point? At that time, we was probably like. You know, early 20s. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't always dreaming to be rappers. Like, we didn't come out the womb rapping in yeah. the 80s, but that's now. You know? mm-hmm. um, and um, it's a producer. We got, we got, we got, um, we got a little bit of beef now basically because he made a couple of diss, diss beats for some cats that dissed me on him. Mm. So when I tell this story, I always make sure I leave his name out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he was he's next not, door because he would, he, he would get status for this one. Yeah, yeah he's okay. not getting a free plug today. Right, right, right. Yeah. So anyway, he had a studio next door and they was from the rival side of town but they had a studio kind of close to ours. Mm. I went over there and I paid my little $200 for my three beats. I made I made um three songs. Okay. Some of the homies still got the mixtape now with those three songs. Um, I went to LA like within a month because of the little notori- notoriety I got amongst the homies and I went up there like within a month or two and met Sir Jinx you know what I'm saying and Sir Jinx was working with Exhibit at the time yeah. mm-hmm. on uh, 40 Days and 40 Nights and that first day I went to LA he took uh, my big homie Reese shout out to, to my big bro Reese he took me and about five other artists up to LA to meet Jinx and just rap mm-hmm. uh, via DJ Jam yeah. it is. Okay, legendary DJ Jam sh- sent us to LA with Reese Y'all want to get on? All right, here. I got a homie that work with new artists. If you know anything about the West Coast, even though it's expanding now, at a time, if you, if you was a West Coast artist, you had to come through Sir Jinx's pad. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Corrupt to Exhibit to Spider to anybody. I met everybody at Sir Jinx's house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Sir Jinx was basically training to get to the next level. You know what I'm saying? As far as L.A. hip-hop went. And when I went to L.A. that first day I went, I tripped because being in San Diego, we didn't really have too much interaction with the real scene. But that day, man, I met Dub C that day. I met Exhibit that day. I met Mac 10. I met DJ Aladdin. I met um, Liquid Crew homies. I met so many people that first day I went to LA, and that's what made me say, damn, all I got to do is a little three song demo. Yeah. And I could be this, I could be in like this. And that's what motivated me from that day. It kicked off your career. Yeah. It made you see what it was about and what you wanted to be in. Sir Jinx, thanks. Shout out to the homie Sir Jinx. For those youngsters that don't, that don't know Sir Jinx, if you saw um, you saw uh, Straight Outta Compton, the movie, yeah. when Dr. Dre left his mama house and went to his cousin's house, yeah. that was the house. That was Jinx's house. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Jinx is Dre's first cousin. So, Mitchie, we can't go anywhere um, without anyone knowing who you... You can't go anywhere without people knowing who you are. Uh, is there any misconceptions? And I was saying this earlier, you know, there's 
people talk about a lot of things mm -hmm. that they don't know about. Right. I, I can't lie. I, I right. do, you know, gossip and news and stuff in here, too. I get all my stuff from, you know, different sources. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that you feel like you need to clear that people say about you? Um... I don't know if I would say clear because, you know, everybody got skeletons and everybody got a pass. Mm. But it just seems like maybe like because I'm from the city that I'm from, um, some of the things get blown up because yeah. San Diego's not a city that's really very welcoming of Hip -hop. a lot of urban activities. Yes. <laughs> Like, if you want to make an example, I like to have a little shot. Okay, San Diego. I once saw a drug indictment in San Diego. Mm. It was 100 people on this indictment list. Mm -hmm. All together, they got $50,000. If you was in Detroit, you couldn't... You couldn't get on no indictment list with fifty thousand bucks, a hundred people, and it came up to fifty thousand dollars, and it's all over the news all day and all that. That's San Diego. You yeah. know what I mean? So you know they'll tell you a lot of bad stuff, but they won't tell you I went to you know a university. Mm -hmm. You will never know that. Right. Right. I went to Prairie View, historically black university in Texas. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, that ain't that ain't nothing that's really common of people where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? They won't tell you that. Like even even shout out to. Channel 10 News because I'm a loving cat like me and my family for like the last 15 years put a, a, a toy drive I mean a toy giveaway not a toy drive where yes. we give away like thousands of toys for Christmas like I probably gave 5,000 kids what helps not me alone but right. 5,000 kids toys for Christmas for like mm -hmm. the last five years myself That's been good. there with my own money out my own pocket I didn't buy 5,000 toys where I'm just saying it's certain things that had to be taken care of and I, and I you know did that myself the news came and showed everybody but me and the homies you know what I mean mm -hmm. they showed everybody they showed people that didn't even have nothing to do with it but as far as actually putting the real cast that was behind this and making sure that it happened in this community. It, it happens in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? They don't show that. But I don't, I don't really mind. You know, I talk about though. it all the time. You I talk I mean? about it all the time. People look at me like, Tati, you're crazy. And I'm like, but it's true. No one ever puts the positive or the things that you do in the community. They don't put that front and center. What they do put is charges or rumors or things that look at your face, right? They always bring up the bad or your past that maybe you're not trying go to look up. Go look up my criminal history. It's not a felony on it. I, 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 I just Google <laughs> Listen. No, no. Listen. Right saying, no, I just Google No, I, I say this to them. Yeah. Right. To them. Because people, because people look it up and they'll automatically have a judgment of you. That's, but that you got to use, Tati, when you sign up to be in a game, that's part of being in the game. Any, But any game that you're a public, public figure. figure. Because at, once you become a public figure, you're no longer a person anymore. No. You're somebody's... Um, you're like a game, like a like a part of like like maybe like some cartridge for some game or something. You're, you're for their entertainment, right? Like perfect example. While we while we spitting, all right. So 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 that everybody understands how media works. Okay. So and so is gay. Mm -hmm. Your girl pick you up. You hop in the car. Girl, you hear what's his name was gay. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, whoever mm -hmm. I seen Jahim sock somebody off, even questioning him about something like that. Right. I love okay. Now. Somebody told you that what's his name was gay or what's the name? T what if that was your brother? Mm. Would you jump in the car then and would that be the first? Girl, you, I heard my brother was gay. You wouldn't do that because mm -hmm. that's personal. That's your people's. Right. But once you become a, a figure, you're not even, don't nobody care. Yeah. They, they, so what? He's never going to see me. Your feelings don't matter anymore you know I mean? once you're a public and figure. So a lot of stuff would get out there about you. A lot of stuff would be said about you. You know what I'm saying? And people don't understand once you become somebody that is a figure like that like I say it all the time I ain't Tupac I ain't Snoop Snoop Dogg but in Dago I am in San Diego I am mm -hmm. as far as if you want to go by my popularity or in my zone I am Yeah. so to be like that if I'm here then I'm going to feel like they feel when they're wherever they are so in San Diego I feel like the same way Snoop Dogg would feel like Everywhere. So let me ask you, Mitchie Slick, you are, you, you are the man when it comes to that in San Diego. How many of these up-and-coming San Diego cats, rappers, come to you for advice? Oh, a lot of them. Yeah. But not as many as that, that should, but a lot of them do. One piece of advice you give every one of them to get to where Mitchie Slick got to in San Diego. I tell them, um, don't think it's about how good you rap. Don't think it's about how good you, you, you rap. Don't yeah. think that, I mean, a couple cats is that. Like Eminem is that. That good, yeah. Kendrick Lamar 
It is to an extent. But Kendrick Lamar even had a team that built that up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it's about what it's about you understanding the game, and it's also about timing. You could be the best rapper in the world, just never get your shot. You know what I mean? It's good that you tell them that because a lot of times, you know, local artists will come to us mm-hmm. and on the radio realm, we, we catch a lot. Of, we're glad you're here. Right. Honestly, a lot of times, a lot of local artists, they don't want to stop through radio stations. They don't. They, you know what I mean? So it's hard to say what you said. I don't know, Tati. I think every I think every every artist I know that had an opportunity to be here, they probably would want to be here. I don't you know, I don't get a lot of emails and maybe it's because we're new. We just got back on, you know what I mean? And we're jamming 95.7 is right. new. But, right. you know, we don't get a lot of people that say they want to come through. They drop off their singles. And, and, you know, and I know not every single is good. Yeah. But even if it is good, it, that don't mean it's going to come on the radio. That like, That is that is, is very business. true. This Why? Is a it's a business. But you also need that team. Right. Like you said about Kendrick Lamar. There's so many other factors to, you know, breaking out on the scene. Right. that It's hard for us to say it is what my point was. It's hard yeah. for us to tell someone because the first thing they see is radio. You ain't going to play my stuff anyway. Forget what you're saying. But from you, it's a big deal to hear from you because you've been, you know, in this scene. You've been in the hip hop scene. You're not radio. Right. You know, you're actually in hip hop. So we're happy to hear that when they come to you, that you tell them what it is. Right. Um, because they won't. I mean, nobody, nobody wants to hear from mom right. of three. But Tati. I tell them, I tell them straight <laughs> up. There's a lot of stuff they don't believe. All this, he is independent. A lot of a lot of young artists, they think that they, they see um, the rappers that they want to, you know, be like. aspire to be like. And they figure that they should do what they're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Drake just dropped a mixtape and he didn't even tell nobody. He right. just came out. But Let's that's do that. Drake. You ain't Drake. Yeah, that's Drake. You can't though. do that. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And then and then it's hard for me to really tell him that and them listen to me because even though I'm Mitch and I did my little thing or whatever, it still isn't where the artists that they are watching are at. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing too is social media nowadays. Between right. Twitter, Instagram, your Facebook, your YouTube, I mean, you have a platform. I always tell artists a platform right. of millions, right. billions. Right. And what do you have? And you look at them. I don't need Twitter. And I try to explain from our side too with these artists. It's like if you let th- those machines are going to find you. If you have a video that gets twenty million views, right. Somebody's going to be like, "Who is this cat Straight out of San up. Diego? Who Straight is this up. guy? We got to We got to get that machine going." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's a long story, man, with the San Diego artists. Yeah. It, but it's before it's before that. It, it, right. See, San Diego, it takes a movement and in, in something exciting behind, or, or 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 you to be able to, for a company or somebody to be able to see that somebody's excited about that. That starts at home. Mm. San Diego is is not a city that's really. They don't do that for San Diego. They don't get excited for San Diego. They just don't. And um, I think I know why, but that's a whole nother role. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just don't get excited for San Diego artists. I, I, I noticed, like, it would be a new West Coast artist, and before he blows up, mm. I won't say no names, <laughs> but if the dude got a show in San Diego and he's not from here and he's here on New Year's and he's here on Christmas and he's here on Halloween and he's that means he ain't really doing no shows everywhere else they will be overly jockeying this artist this artist will come down here 30 times 40 times he will build his whole career off of San Diego loving him and he's not even if he got a show in San Diego every other week Tati what does that mean no names. We're not saying no if he's names. doing if he does two shows in a month in San Diego, mm-hmm. it's seven million cities in America. Why is he not everywhere else? Right. Y'all just loving him because y'all like, you know, just as long as he ain't from here. Y'all are just loving him and giving him whatever. Getting keys to your car, your hotel room, everything else. And that's San Diego. We don't got enough pride. Chargers gone because of it. You feel me? Diego needs to show more love. Chargers is gone because of it. We don't love our stuff. Let's talk about let's talk about something though in San Diego. You're new single. Right, gas, gas. Let's talk about gas. We did. Yeah. We listened to it. Yeah. We did. We're nah, no, okay. I know you're excited about this record. And you got yeah. a smile on your face yeah. when I said those, <laughs> yeah. those three Let's letters talk right about there. This yeah. music. <laughs> well, gas is um really just a shout out to all the um because I'm heavy on this um PT PTSD awareness yep. stuff. You know what I mean? And um I I, I don't know what can I can ask you why. What is your? I know there's a personal because, attachment to because that because I I I know there's a real sick. I know that it's a real a real disease, mm-hmm. and I see um so many other people 
outside of my demographic of people get pardoned for things and stuff they do, get benefits for stuff. Man, if you live where I live and you don't got PTSD, like, you must have never came outside. You feel me? <laughs> PTSD is not just going to war. PTSD is It's not just is people in that's in the Navy. You yeah. know, like, come on, man. I saw my first victim of the worst. I was like five or six years old. You know what I mean? Riding my bike where we was riding our bikes at. Like, I always think about that, that part in um, Boys in the Hood. hood. Mm-hmm. Like, that wasn't. That was, see that body. That was official. Mm-hmm. That was real. Yeah. So, you know. That's Your mom whipped you too bad. Now you you on PTSD. Now you got PTSD. Everybody got their butt whooped in the hood. You feel me? That's regular. Mm-hmm. We talking about serious issues, and I know that. You know, shout out to all the all the vets that that went to war for us, homie, and did all that. But we got some over here too. You know what I mean? Gas is bringing light. Yeah. yeah. Gas is sending a shout out. It's actually a, a single off of a whole album that I have, and the name of the album is PTSD. That's Post Traumatic Stress Diego. You okay. say Diego. Diego. Got it. Diego. Not Dago with a Y. Diego. So they'll get it for sure. You feel me? Okay. And on, on the album, it's all 420 songs. Album was dropped one. It, it, it's not dropped. It hasn't dropped yet. I've just been dropping singles. The sure, first okay. single was Stressed Out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The second single was Gas. All right. And I'm finna get my Drake on and just bloop it out of nowhere on everybody, like probably like <laughs> next week. <laughs> next week. Okay. Because I think I'm Drake status. I was just going to say yeah. that. But you just said you ain't Drake, <laughs> but Mitch is. Uh, Mitch, you can. <laughs> Well, we're happy that you stopped by. Like yeah, I said, you know, it, it's it's our pleasure. I got a little gift basket. Don't laugh at me. Yo, Tati went. She went shopping all around every single neighborhood. And... She went everywhere to find you there. She'd you been what? shopping for days. I'm, listen, <laughs> I'm, I moved to San Diego in 2006. <laughs> this man's name always came up since... Every, Mitchie Slick. Have you met Mitchie Slick? Yeah, Mitch, I never met Mitchie Slick. This is my first time meeting Mitchie. And it's like, I had to go away and then come back. To meet Mitchie Slick, so I am honored to meet you. Much love, Mama. I, I feel, oh man, yeah, I got goodies. I didn't, yeah. no you didn't bring no goodies. You don't need no. Yeah, I didn't bring no goodies. I always <laughs> bring goodies. Uh, hey, I heard it. about it fast. Like they it, they zoomed this interview up on me quick. Like, yeah, get up now. Well, get I'm there. I'm glad you made time because I know. Wait, 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 wait. The T-shirt. She spent That's hours yeah. creating this yeah, one. She she printed that out herself. Yeah, I put it all in this little bit here. Why is it though? It's 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 nice, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's dope, nice. dope, dope. So I just for that I'm coming back weekly with <laughs> for the whole squad. Thank you all so love, much. All thank love. you. Right on, mama. So Dago nice. legend, right there. Right on, y'all. Right on. Mitchie Slick, Tati, Frankie V, Gemini 957. My dude, thank you for coming through. Yeah, that.